What's up everyone, Craig from Chasing here, back again. And today we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about the buoy and the tether for the dory. Uh, I really wanna hit on a couple things that I didn't in the in the unbackpacking of the dory. So let's, let's jump right into it. So let's start off with the buoy, okay? This is a completely different system than the Gladius Mini. This is something that actually can go in the water like this. No problem, you have your buoy here get wet it's not an issue like with the mini you cannot get the mini base station wet but this one is made to be wet and it's made to send off a signal to your phone so that you can get your transmission back and look at what you're looking at underwater um, the one thing that I need to really talk about here is the distance so if I was standing here and say 40 yards away was the the dory now the dory buoy is only going to be you know basically 10 yards away from me but if i were to turn the dory around that tether is going to go all the way out to where the dory was and that buoy is going to sit out there and if you are more than 40 yards away you are going to lose contact with your phone you are going to disconnect so the one thing that i'm going to say is number one we are offering a safety leash and what that's going to do is that's going to connect either to this buoy or to the cable on the tether and if you do get out of range you'll just be able to pull that leash in get it closer to you so that you can reconnect and continue diving okay that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it and what i've do been doing since i don't have the safety leash yet is i've been tying a fishing line to the end of the tether here and basically that fishing line goes out with the buoy. Now, if the buoy loses connection, I just pull the fishing line in and I can reconnect and start diving again. So my suggestion to everyone is to stay within 30 yards going north of you, 30 yards going south of you, 30 yards going east, 30 yards going west. If you stay within that realm, you should have no disconnects at all. Shouldn't be a problem. And I think that you guys will have a really good time with this. Now, on the tether side, it's very much like the um, Gladius Mini, except for we went with a, a plastic coupling instead of a metal. And this one has a um, one, two, three, four, five, six prong uh, male on the, on, the, on the tether, and then a six prong female on the buoy. And it's a really simple, easy, really easy in and out. Like, watch, it's so simple, boom, in, turn the thing about four or five times, and you're ready to go. Really simple stuff. Now, another thing that I've done also is if I'm diving with the dory and it's really close to me, I just keep this on the shore. I just keep it right next to me. If I'm only going 20 yards out, I got 50 feet of tether here, it's gonna be no problem. Now, if you were gonna do like a pool inspection or something like a drain inspection, you wouldn't have to worry about just connect because you're gonna be right there. Um, this is a buoyant buoy or a buoyant tether. This is a buoyant tether and it will float upon the surface and when you dive it'll actually go down this one's really buoyant so it floats on top which is good especially if you're in a reef area or something and you don't want to get connected to uh you know the coral you know our coral is very precious so we want to stay as far away from that as possible um also the bright yellow this always helps in locating the dory and then also if you get into a situation where you don't know you want to find your way back it's always easy to basically follow the the tether back to where you are the other thing with the buoy you do not have to charge it it is powered by the dory you don't have to worry about uh any of uh, any you know plugging it in and letting it charge for hours i did that when i first got it because i had no idea i thought oh you know it needs to charge but it was always green when i plugged it in so that means that it just runs off the power of the dory and that's all you need to know there's not a whole lot i mean this product is so simple so easy to use it's it's like my 94 year old grandfather figured it out like that my 10 year old daughter figured it out like that it's a, an amazing product at $4.99 and these two um, accessories that come with the product are top notch. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or concerns or questions about this, please leave me a message. My name's Craig. Thank you guys for watching. I'll check you guys out next time. And thank you for being supporters of Chasing. Also check out the Kickstarter link below. You can get this product now for $3.49, but after October 18th, it goes to $4.99. We hope to see you on our Kickstarter page and we'll talk to you later. Oh.